Hello, I'm Max Truscott, and this is the YouTube version of my top-ranked aviation news talk podcast, a weekly show with news and tips for pilots and student pilots to help keep you safe. I'm the author of several books and the 2008 National Flight Instructor of the Year. Today, we're talking with Anne-Marie Bain, who's developed an unusual calendar that she calls Pilots Without Pants as a fundraiser to raise money for an aviation scholarship. Now, generally, we talk about safety-related issues, but this struck me as funny, and hey, now's the time to start thinking about buying gag gifts for your pilot friends. So, you may be interested in buying some copies for this worthy cause. By the way, the calendar sells for $19.95, and here's a link to go buy the calendar. Also, if you look in the description below for this video, you'll find the clickable version of the link. Now, please go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss next week's show, and now here's our show. Well, Anne-Marie, thanks so much for contacting me about this, and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Well, before we get started, I think people should know if the movie industry were rating this calendar that we're talking about, this is PG-13 suitable for all audiences or not? Um, it depends. <laughs> oh. I mean, maybe you wouldn't put it up in your five-year-old's room, but I don't think it'd be harmful for a five-year-old to see it necessarily. Right. Of course, because everything is covered here, even though we've got a name which might suggest that it's not. Well, good. So now that we've got that out of the way, which is pretty important, I understand the calendar is a fundraiser. Tell us about that. Where does the money go? We're going to build a scholarship fund for a student on Long Island, or maybe two, depending on how well we do with this calendar, who might not necessarily be able to afford to continue their aviation studies. And I guess you've done that in the past, so you've, you've given money away to uh, students before? Yes, but not through the sales of Pilots Without Pants. Got it. Okay. Well, it's a very catchy name, Pilots Without Pants. Tell <laughs> us how you came up with the idea for the calendar. What was going on? And was there any alcohol being consumed at the time? Funny you should mention that because there were copious amounts of alcohol <laughs> being served. I suspected every, that. I mean, every Wednesday, and it's still going on to this day, um, we have a Wednesday social where we drink wine and eat cheese and uh, the pilots all hang out and talk about past triumphs and failures and what's going on in their lives. And uh, one particular night, and this was over 10 years ago, we were trying to figure out some fundraising ideas. And I thought, hey, let's do a nude calendar. After maybe my third or fourth glass of wine, I was feeling it. And so was everybody else. Everybody was like, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's do this thing. Hey, Maria, are you going to do the photography? I'll do the photography. I'll do the printing, and I'll put it all together. This will be great. And everybody thought it was an amazing idea. I felt I showed up. I showed up with my camera that, that weekend afterwards and started going around and going, okay, y'all made a promise to me, even though you weren't sober, I'm holding you to it and we are going to build a calendar. So tell us about the organization uh, that you were you know, proposed this to that you see every Wednesday night. Um, it's the Antique Airplane Club of Greater New York and I believe my husband was the president at that time too. And uh, basically it's just an antique airplane club and we uh, do a fly in every year in August and now, now September, I believe. And uh, we just enjoy flying antique airplanes. And where is the club based out of? Which airport are you associated with? Um, it's Bayport Air Drum Society um, and the, uh, the air, airport designator is 23N. And I hear it's the only one left in Long Island. I guess in the past there were something like 30 grass strips, and now they're all gone, and it's down to just this one. Yeah. Well, it's, that's too bad. But I'm sure you folks have a lot of fun there. So uh, <laughs> it sounds like you, um, you, you had some ready, willing volunteers, and then you had to twist the arms of others, or how did that work out? Uh, some people I had to get the permission of their wives and talk to their wives and basically say, this is what I'm doing. And most of them are like, okay, just get them out of the house. <laughs> and um, my husband, of course, um, had to do it because well, I'm, yes. you know, I'm, we, I'm in charge. So right. I say. We, we, we understand <laughs> how that uh, how that works out. So I'm looking at the, uh, the cover right now. And for folks who are watching the video of this, they'll be able to see that. And let me just bring that up. Sure. And we are looking at the cover, and the cover is really 
stunning. I mean, this this is uh, no. I, I mean, it, it's really interesting. I've never seen a concept like this anywhere, but it was a, a rather novel idea. It's a uh, uh, it's got a, a Cessna 140 in the background, and there's a gentleman who looks like he's planning to commute to work. Uh, tell us about that. <laughs> yes, this is um, the model known as the Coverboy 2022. And he is dressed in 1950s garb as much as he could pull together um, for the cover of this to um, look like a commuter going, a businessman going to, for his commute. The thing that cracked me up the most was he kept putting off the shoot because his sock garters hadn't gom, come in yet. He went and ordered sock garters for this, which I was both pleased and horrified at the same time. And I couldn't keep a straight face when he walked out with his briefcase and his sock garters. Well, it is really hilarious. I mean, this gentleman looks like he could have come off the set for the TV show Mad Men, which was yes. uh, set in the early 1960s. He's got his pipe. There's smoke coming out of it. He's got the <laughs> hats that were so common uh, prior yeah. to, well, until probably the mid-1960s. Men's really stopped wearing uh, hats. He's got his briefcase and tie, but not a whole lot else on. And, of course, the briefcase is strategically uh, positioned, so it's a, a clean photo like all the rest of them in the calendar. And those sock garters. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, it is funny because, um, you know, this is a, he looks like a commuter. You refer to him as being a commuter. And the very next model of this uh, aircraft, the Cessna 150, <laughs> had a commuter version. So they actually called it, uh, you know, the Cessna 150 commuter. So pretty funny to see this on the cover. Yeah, I, lo I love the photo. We had a good time shooting it. Well, we've got uh, January here with a Stearman in the background. And what more can you tell us about this? Okay, this very Stearman was in the very first um, edition of Pilots Without Pants. And this man's grandfather posed for me. So that was kind of cool when it came to this year. And I, I spoke to, to our model and I said, hey, you know, your grandfather can't do it this year. How about you? And it was a hard no at first, and then he started thinking about it. And I said, listen, you know, you, I'll, I'll, I'll treat you nice. <laughs> I will make it as comfortable as possible. And, of course, 20 other pilots stood behind me as I was shooting this making fun of the poor man. <laughs> <laughs> well, like... that's, what, that's what pilots do for each other. We like to make fun of each other. Well, funny that they're uh, keeping it keeping it all in the family. Well, February oh, yeah. is really iconic. Uh, we've got uh, a 1946 Aronka Chief, uh, mm -hmm. which, uh, by the way, people are probably not as familiar with the Chief as they are with the Champ. The Champ outsold the Aronka Chief by about four to one. The Chief had side-by-side -side seating and yoke controls. But the gentleman standing in front of it, well, what what is he doing there? Well, he's pretending to play a banjo. Why, I, why do I say pretending? He doesn't know how to play the banjo, and I thought that was a very interesting choice of uh, stuff to cover his goodies with. And I was like, dude, play me a song while we hear it, man. He's like, I can't, really, because I don't know how to play that. And I'm like, okay, this makes no sense, but all right, I'm shooting the picture, and fine. Got it. Well, it's pretty funny because I can't remember any other aviation photos with banjos in them. So this may set a, a new trend. Now, this is uh, Mr. March here, 1933 Waco UBF-2 uh, biplane. And yeah. I do recognize what he's reading there. Tell us about that. That is General Aviation News, and they have been a great friend of Pilots Without Pants and Bayport Aerodrome and the Antique Airplane Club of Greater New York. And they publish my photos kind of often and very grateful for that. Um, the edition he is holding is a picture I shot of my husband in the Cub, which you really can't see from here, but, but I wanted to give a nod to General Aviation News for, for being so kind to us. So we use well, that to cover Mr. March's goodies. It's a great photo on our tip of the hat to, uh, to Ben Sclair and his entire team up there at General Aviation News. Great publication. All right, jumping ahead to uh, April. Uh, this is a 19, uh, pardon me, this is a 1940 N3N biplane. Great photography, by the way. I love the, uh, the blue sky and the green foreground and great big yellow famous airplane. And then, of course, there's Mr. Bill. There he is. He has been in every calendar, every Pilots Without Pants calendar since I started. Always very patient with me, always very creative with me. 
The funniest memory I have of this photo, though, is afterwards, he comes up behind me, he's about to take off, and he said, listen, get in the airplane. I said, well, you're not wearing anything. What are we doing? Because you're going to shoot me up in the sky flying without my pants on. And <laughs> the way we went for a hilarious half hour uh, flight over Fire Island and Long Island Sound with him not wearing much at all. <laughs> well, when you first contacted me, you emailed me that photo. And so here it is. We've got, uh, and, and I thought this deserved to be in the calendar. It is just hysterical. This gentleman is fairly old, uh, white hair, and you kind of see him from the, the mid chest up. And it's just, it's hilarious. I mean, it is, you know, kind of, <laughs> what can we say? Kind of wrinkled, grizzled, uh, you know, pilot uh, flying as a steerman in an open air uh, cockpit uh, over the, you know, right next to the Long Island Sound there. So it's, uh, it's just a really funny picture. Thank you. We we had a lot of fun. I was I mean we went live on Facebook with this and people were like, Amory, you're always getting into some sort of trouble. What is going on here? It's like we're flying nude, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't tell that from the picture, so we'll have to take your word for it. Um, so going up to March, this is a a Vans RV uh, experimental, experimental air, aircraft, and I'm guessing that's the airplane owner in front of it. That is correct. And his wife was the one, we were trying to find something to cover his goodies. And his wife was the one that found the air show today um, uh, sign. And uh, it was just a stroke of genius on her part. It looked really good. <laughs> it's pretty funny. All right, so let's jump ahead here and we'll take a look at uh, June. This is a 1931 Bruner Winkle Bird airplane. I have never heard of that. I'm guessing that's a pretty rare antique aircraft. I only know of two. I mean, I'm not an expert, but I do. There's one at Bayport, and then there's one um, at Lufker Airport, which um, he is. He's based. Got he it. looks like a 1950s movie star with those shades on, though, and that beautiful smile of his. <laughs> And, of course, we've got the strategically placed engine cowling or something like that in front of him, as, just like all the other photos, so well covered up. All right, <laughs> moving on to uh, Mr. July. Now, this is an Aronka Champ, which has the tandem seating and uh, joystick controls. So uh, tell us about Mr. July. Oh, Mr. July. We only met maybe an hour before I shot this photo. We didn't know each other. So he volunteered through someone else to be in the calendar, and I thought that was amazing. But imagine meeting someone you don't, you just met. Imagine meeting somebody and then having them go, okay, get naked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, again, he's got, looks like an airplane spinner or something there, which is covering That's him up. Right. So good, uh, good choice on his part there. Uh, let's see, jumping ahead to August. Now, this is a very famous airplane. Uh, this is a 1975 uh, Citabria, of which there are zillions around and very popular uh, aircraft to fly. And we've got the gentleman standing here in front of it. And what's he doing? Well, he was holding a blank sign when I shot this photo because we couldn't think of what we wanted to have on it. And it took me a little while. And then I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to put on the sign flying the Second best thing you can do with your pants off. I assume that's yeah, correct, right? Yeah. In fact, I know a seaplane <laughs> pilot who always refers to uh, seaplane flying uh, that way as well, too. So a uh, popular saying. All right. Mr. September, a 1937 Ryan STA. This is, a, I got to say, a very cool airplane picture. This thing is all uh, brushed aluminum. It's got a monster propeller in the front of it. And probably the thing that's most distinctive about it are the, uh, st the strut wires, the support wires that go from the fuselage out to the, uh, to the wing tips that support the, the, uh, the wing. So great looking airplane. An even better looking model. <laughs> well, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll... <laughs> if I don't say that, this man is like a brother to me. If I don't say that, he'll come after me and it'll be very ugly. So I just want to say, Got you it. are All so right, handsome. Super. <laughs> yep, then, then we, can't, uh, we can't disagree with you on that one then. All right, so jumping ahead here to uh, October. Now, this <laughs> looks like we're parked along a flight line. I see about three airplanes, a Tabri and a couple of Cessnas, that are parked up against a line of trees. Now, do the airplanes right. just park outside at the airport there? Uh, that's where they're tied down at Bayport, the people that don't have uh, hangers with us. Got it. All right, and we've got a gentleman in the foreground here. Oh, yeah. And uh, he, I thought he was going to fly in for his, because um, he does own an airplane. He owns an Aerobat. 
But he drove into the airport for his photo shoot, which I thought was uh, interesting. I said, well, where's your plane? Because, well, it's too windy. <laughs> no, I can't fly. I was like, Smart. well, this is, I, gotta, I should be shooting you with your airplane. He's like, well, I said, well, okay, we'll use these airplanes here and we'll get you a gas can. And <laughs> well, well positioned, so, uh, well positioned okay. gas can as usual. All right. So I should be wishing you a happy birthday. I understand that November is the month of your birth date. And uh, why is that significant to this? By the way, we've got uh, a 1946 Air Coupe uh, featured here for November. Yes, that is my husband, my ever loving hubby. And I put him in every Pilots Without Pants calendar, whether he wants to be in it or not, on November, because that's my birthday month and that's my little way of celebrating my marriage and my old age. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. And the fact that you're still having lots of fun. All right, speaking yeah. of fun, we're up to December here. We've got a <laughs> Stearman. And this pilot is in his Santa Claus hat, and he's got uh, Fluffy the Bear, who seems to be uh, well-positioned. Fluffy the Bear, yes. Um, <laughs> Fluffy the Bear, not there out of their, her own will, obviously. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's our Mr. December flying off to spread Christmas cheer in his Stearman airplane with his teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. All right. So we have uh, wrapped up the calendar. I see you do a lot of excellent videos to uh, to promote this as well. One of them looked Thank like you. a takeoff from Austin Powers and Dr. Evil. So uh, you apparently have a background in video production. Tell us about that. Um, I have been in um, the video profession for, gosh, almost 30 years. And I've worked in television for 20 and worked in the corporate sphere for almost five years now. Um, yeah, but my main profession is actually video production, pr video producing, um, and photography is a second love of mine. Yeah, um, the uh, the video for uh, the, the Austin Powers looking video where, you know, they kept yelling up at the airplane, calling it Johnson and whatnot. Um, that was a promo for a beer that was named after the calendar that was brewed here on Long Island, Pilots Without Pants Ale. <laughs> which was so amazing that someone named a beer after this calendar. And it was a good beer, a really good beer. That's great. So you, uh, you're you taking the world by storm with this uh, calendar, obviously. <laughs> I'm thinking that uh, you know people shouldn't just buy one of these calendars, but maybe five or ten of them and give them away to all their pilot friends or give them away at a mm -hmm. holiday party. Uh, and aren't these kind of the perfect uh, gag gift for people to buy in bulk and give away to their friends? Absolutely. I mean, if you buy 10 or 15, 30, 40, <laughs> not being greedy, um, but, you know, not only are you helping a student um, achieve their aviation dream, but you're also taking care of a Christmas list. I mean, think about the supply chain and what's not coming your way, but I can get you one of these calendars in the mail this week. <laughs> That's great. That. That's great. Well, we have a lot of very supportive listeners who like uh, helping good causes. If they decide to uh, to buy lots of your calendars and you run out, will you uh, go back on press and print some more? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, 100%. That'd be amazing. <laughs> great. Uh, and so where do people go to order this calendar? They can go to, um, if you're on Long Island, you can go to Bayport Aerodrome um, on a weekend and you can buy it personally from one of the pilots in the calendar or, you know, if you want to save some gas, you can just go to my, our website, my website, imageamb.com forward slash PWOP. And, of course, we'll have a link to that in our show notes. Anne-Marie Bain, thank you so much for coming on and giving us a good laugh today. And good luck with your fundraising effort. Thank you. And what a pleasure it was to be here. Thank you so much.